All right, you guys, you saw the title. And yes, if you're wondering, this is not a troll video like the Luffy Sucks video. Everything I'm saying, everything I'm showing you guys is dead serious. So we have a character called Sasuke Uchiha. This guy on paper, probably one of the most perfect characters his brother massacred his clan. So he doesn't like nobody. He doesn't associate himself with anybody. All he wants to do is avenge his clan and take out his brother. Okay. But then as time goes on, Sasuke gets older and stronger and wiser. Well, shouldn't I say wiser? Um, as he gets older and he actually met up with his brother, they clash, they do what they had to do. Danzo and Obito tells him the truth of what really went down. And Sasuke came up with the bright idea to still destroy the clan that Itachi worked so hard to protect. That's Sasuke for you guys. And yeah, during the Naruto and Sasuke fight, he elaborates himself even more, wanting people to just despise him only. And to make everybody in the world just hate him. And he will bear all their hatred for himself. Because at that time, and probably right now, Sasuke is the strongest character. Him and Naruto. So, yeah, I guess that was a thing. But at the end of the day, he didn't even try to follow through with it. Because, you know, Naruto gave him the best top no jutsu, hand no jutsu in Naruto history. And now we got Sasuke being the worst father of the year. Like, he's trying to catch up to Jin so bad. But I don't think anybody could top Jin Freeze at this point. But Sasuke, he's up there. But yeah, I just want to go over Sasuke as a character. And I have watched Naruto Part 1 and 2 three times each because I am working on that Sakura video. And man, Sasuke, he's, he's kind of bad, you guys. I'm not going to lie. That motherfucker, he's saucy, though. I give him that. But at the end of the day, I might just come out here and spit the facts. And Sasuke is pretty... Uh, he didn't. He doesn't get the job done, you know what I'm saying? And I posted this on my Twitter and community tab of Sasuke. Like, every single fight Sasuke been a part of, like the major fights, Sasuke either lose or the, he gets help. Or the character commits Senpaku now. Sasuke. I'm about to go over every single fight Sasuke has in order to show you guys what it really went down, okay? Okay, so part one, you guys. Sasuke and Naruto versus Haku. Haku was destroying these kids. And Haku didn't finish the job because he felt love for Naruto and Sasuke. And Haku missed every single vital spot in Sasuke's body. Sasuke fell over. He was incapacitated. And Naruto went nine toes mode and punched Haku. He was going crazy. One of the best Naruto transformations in Naruto history. Naruto went around punching the mirrors. He got one clean hit on Haku. And Haku's face did not fucking turn into pudding, which I'm surprised. And then Haku jumped in front of Kakashi's lightning blade. Committing Senpaku for Sabuza to get a sneak attack on him. That's the first fight, okay? Now we get to the tuning exams. Sasuke versus Orochimaru. Now, Orochimaru is... He probably had his prime at... Not his prime at this point, but... You know what? He probably is. Because his arms wasn't sealed or anything. He had a fresh body. He was ready to go, you feel me? So, he's fighting Sasuke. The fight animation was kind of bad but when i was a kid watching this i was screaming my head off like sasuke he was scared the whole time and naruto had to bully him to get the sauce up so sasuke he was doing his thing you know he's pulling out all the stops doing all the hand seals he can see he can see like his fucking neck doing the shit like the iconic neck turn like bro that was really good i'm not gonna lie sasuke gave that man a power driver he did everything he could but at the end of the day it's orochimaru the strongest signing 
Like, let's be honest. A lot of people are saying Jiraiya was the strongest. I don't think so. Like, Orochimaru, Orochimaru did his thing, you feel me? So, Orochimaru bit Sasuke. He's like, yo, if you want more power, come come to my dungeon, you feel me? So, that happened. And Sasuke, he got a curse mark. And now we get to the tuning exams. Sasuke fights Gara, Hit him on the lightning blade. The tournament got canceled. I wanted to see that fight through. But, let's be honest. Gara would have went full Shikaku mode and fucking stepped on Sasuke. He would have died. Let's keep it 100, you guys. Naruto came in, did this thing with the frog, Gamabunta, did the Nine Tails thing. You know, Naruto clashed with Gara. Yo, Naruto, he's goaded, okay? He stole the W from Sasuke. And then we go for the, um, I guess it was like the Tsunade arc of when we get introduced to Itachi Uchiha. Now, this is the man that Sasuke is looking for to destroy to freaking avenge his clan, his people, because he's the one that did it. And Sasuke did the best Chidori animation in Naruto by far. After Naruto vs. Sasuke, I think this is the best Chidori animation. And Itachi just brushed it away, choked him out, slapped him around a little bit and told him you're not strong enough, little brother. And then Jiraiya came through, did the fucking frog, Mount Miyamoku stomach attack, and Itachi had to use um our Matsuratsu to get out of there okay and then the next major fight Sasuke versus the sound four Sasuke gets slapped around by the sound four and there's like you know what you're not strong enough like come with us we got I'm Orochimaru caught a bus I don't know if they have phones but Orochimaru hit us up they're like yo you need to come back to the dungeon and get this level up so Sasuke is like you know what yeah I need to get stronger because these sound four people, they're pretty strong. Like Jonin level, I need to get my rank up. So he told Sakura she's annoying. Knocks her out, put her on the bench. Sakura cries. You know Sakura. Oh, Sakura. And then she begs Naruto to go save him. So we have the Sasuke recovery arc. Very beautiful arc. I love that arc. And then we have Sasuke versus Naruto. Sasuke's first W. And he took down Naruto, surprisingly. I'm not going to lie. I thought Naruto was going to catch the dub, but Sasuke actually did the job. Very surprised. And then we move on, move over to uh, part two. Naruto. Naruto. Um, the, What's this guy's name again? Naruto, Sakura, and Yamamoto. Because Kakashi, he got done, you know. I don't know where Kakashi was at at this point. But yeah, Sai was there too. Sai was trying to assassinate Sasuke. Pretty stupid. And... At this point in the story, Sasuke was stronger than Naruto. Let's be honest. This man Sasuke fucking put his shoulder on him. He's like speed bitched everybody. He got the sword out and the side countered it with his side. He's like, yeah, you gotta have to kill me too. Like, that was nice. Sasuke used like the Chidori stream, jumped up top. He was about to use Karin on them. And Orochimaru had to stop him. He's like, nah, bro, we can't do this right now. Like, what the fuck you on, bro? <laughs> Yeah, Sasuke is a dickhead, man. So yeah, he did that. And then Sasuke versus Orochimaru. At this point, Orochimaru is weakened and sick, not full power. Sasuke hit him up on the bed, sneak attack through the door, Chidori stream, got him in the arm, he blocked it. Orochimaru revealed his real body, the snake body. He tried to use like a genjutsu to take his body. Sasuke, having the best ocular vision, in Naruto, just took his body instead. So now Sasuke took uh, Orochimaru's body into him, plus the curse mark seal. Everything's all said and done, okay? And then Sasuke formed a group with Karin, Jugo, and Soigetsu. The, the group was called like Hibi or something? Yeah, something like that. And they, they joined Akatsuki, which Itachi probably didn't want that to happen. And then we have Sasuke versus Deidara. Now, Deidara is one of my favorite Akatsuki members. He was really cool. I like the clay attacks, the C4 bombs. They were pretty nasty. I'm not going to lie. Sasuke, he was just saucy the whole through fight. You know what I'm saying? He was looking cool as hell. Like, I like the scenes where, like, he was stepping on the bombs. And then he's like, got him. Uh, yo, that fight was, I think it was the best Sasuke fight for me personally. I know Sasuke versus Itachi was cool, but 
I, I just like the the tactical, like all that stuff. We take into into like, I like that fight more out of Sasuke versus Itachi. I'm not gonna lie. So Sasuke, he just he was always one step ahead of him. Not even one, probably like 25 steps ahead of him. Deidara got mad and he used the C4 bomb like himself, the C0. And it literally made like a, the explosion was like four mile, like four mile radius or something like that. I don't know how long it was, but that shit, you could see it from that, the village that Naruto was at. So Sasuke, no chakra, had to pull an ass card and he summoned a snake to protect himself. And then Jugo summoned him to bring him back. Very, I don't know. That was a, that was a, come on, you guys. How do you explain that? They literally pulled, a, they pulled a card. That's what I call it. Like, when they don't have nothing else to do, they just pull a card out. Sasuke, he used the shine gun to take over Orochimaru's best snake, killed him off. So that happened. Okay, the snake was called Manda, too. And now the next fight we have is the Faded Brothers battle. Itachi versus Sasuke Uchiha. Now this fight, I don't know which fight is more clean now that I'm thinking about it. Data versus uh, Itachi, but I don't know. I still put Data over it by not a lot though. But yeah, Itachi at this point, blind, very sick. He got the anime cancer, you guys. You know what they say, if the anime character's too broken, give him cancer you know what i'm saying it's garbage i hate it but it is what it is you know he kept using the showering gun the manga kill itachi and sasuke they're their perfect spares their brothers so this battle was faded like it was fate they had to do this so then uh, kisame had the other people outside and you know they did their thing you feel me itachi he was looking very clean the whole fight he was like yo sasuke was beating up on crow clones and he was like this and then he thought he got him, but no, he didn't. But then he got he got him again. He's like, nah, he ain't hit him this time. That was I like that. That was nice. And then it was just a battle of the eyes at this point. And Itachi's eyes were really bad. And Sasuke was getting overpowered. He started using Amaterasu, pulled out the Suzano. Orochimaru had to come out and help Sasuke. And then Itachi sealed Orochimaru away again, making sure Orochimaru was gone this time. And then he walked up to Sasuke, gave him the little, the forehead tap, and then he went down. Crazy. I didn't think Itachi would go out that way. I'm not going to lie. I think that surprised a lot of characters or a lot of people I met when Itachi went down like that. And freaking Obito was watching in the distance and uh, Zetsu. Yeah, Sasuke did the job. And so Obito and Sasuke, they went back out to his hideout. And then Obito told Sasuke the truth and if you guys didn't know already Itachi let him win because let's be honest if Itachi was serious motherfucker would have came through ran up on him fucking Suzano pierced him or Suzano smacked him around and then he would have won let's be honest okay let's keep it a buck let's keep it a hundred this guy Sasuke is a prodigy right but Itachi is a motherfucking messiah. There's a difference, okay? Sasuke is a prodigy, but Itachi Uchiha is a messiah. So yeah, if Itachi wanted that happen, he would have just came through Suzano, hit him around, and then pinned him down and took his eyes. It wouldn't even be a fight at this point. Like, let's be honest. All right, next fight we have. I don't know if it was the um Sasuke versus Killer B before the Five Kage Summit. No, yeah, it was Killer B because Raikage was mad. Okay, Sasuke versus Killer B. Now, Sasuke was getting that ass whooped the whole time. Killer B was freestyling the whole time. I'd have been so mad, bruh. So, Killer B, he was doing his thing. He was getting jumped the whole time. Low diffed probably every single body out there. Sasuke pulled out his trump card, Amaterasu, which he just learned. So, yeah, he did that. Burned the Jinjiriki. And the tail that he cut off when he tried to save Kyrene was actually Killer B that moved his body into it and he put a clone down so Sasuke stole like a piece of the Jinchuriki but not the real thing so he just took a tail that's about it and Killer B hit himself in a I guess it was like a forest snowy forest area and that happened okay he was out of the picture and then we get to the five Kage Summit probably the best introduction like 
ever in anime history. This guy Sasuke ran through. He cut all of the freaking banners down. And he was standing upside down. That was the best entrance in anime history. Like this man had the balls of Mount Rushmore. He literally went to the headquarters where all the OP Kages are. And he wanted to smoke with everybody. Like this guy Sasuke had no chill at this point. Okay, so he fights the Raikage, the, the Suchikage, the Mizukage. Motherfucker, he fought everybody, bruh. So, yeah, he, the most important fight is Sasuke versus the Raikage. Pretty insane fight, I'm not gonna lie. He, he powerbombed his ass. It was gonna get bad. Sasuke was gonna lose every single fight, but he didn't care at this point. Like, let's be honest. And then Gara came through. He was crying. He was like, yo, we were both in the dark, but Naruto showed me light. Sasuke, how low have you fallen? And Sasuke was like, my eyes can see through everything. I'm like, oh my god, Sasuke. Stop being emo, bruh. Like, Gar is pretty emo. And uh, he got saved by Naruto. He's like, yo, come on. This is your last opportunity. I can show you the light. I'm like, bruh, Gara. I'm like, Gara, bruh. This is not the man you knew. Sasuke used the full Susano mode. And he smacked the area down to go chase down Danzo. And now we have Sasuke versus Donzo. One of my favorite fights as well. And Sasuke. First of all, Donzo used the kunai on him. And he knows what the Susano is. <sighs> Bruh, I was, I was just shaking my fucking head. How fucking stupid are you? He, was, he literally explained the Susano. He came up with a kunai and hit. Okay, anyways. Okay, Sasuke, he fought Danzo. Pretty clean fight. Sasuke, he was summoning birds and shit. It was a battle of the summonings. Like, Danzo, he was summoning elephants that just sucks in everything. You know, it was a nice little fight. You know what I'm saying? I like the hand seals that was popping off. Danzo, he was flipping. I'm like, okay. Danzo, he, he had feats. You know what I'm saying? Because I always wondered, like, how is Danzo? He, he actually took Shishui's eye. I'm like, bro, Danzo, he looked like he ain't got no feats. But you know, he's an old man in anime, so you know, you gotta power him up all the way up. Uh, Orochimaru gave him a, a, a shine gun arm, and then he had Shishui's eye in his head. So, yeah, he had a move kind of was it, I think it was the Izanami or the, the Izanagi, I meant. Yeah, he had the Izanagi, so he has the Izanagi that's the ability to come back like reverse fate. So, every time he was about to die, well, when he dies, he comes back automatically. and he can't use it too much because every time he does it, his eyes close. Sasuke picked on that, picked it up probably immediately. Probably like after the third death, he's like, okay, I see what's going on. That happens. Sasuke, he just kept on killing him, killing him, killing him. He summoned a tree out of his arm because, you know, he has Hashirama cells because he mixed uh, Uchiha with himself. Summoned a tree out of his arm. He blocked one of the Susano arrows. I think this one Sasuke fully unlocked the Susano, like the arrow part, because it was just like the, the skull. And then he finally had like a cloak that came through on it and he had like the arrows. So Sasuke was shooting arrows. They were clashing with Danzo. Pretty nice fight. And then during the end, Sasuke got him. Danzo committed Senpaku because Obito came. He's like, yes, yeah, Shishui's eyes. I need that. You know what I mean? Like that's the ultimate ocular jutsu. What's it? Amato no Kami. And then he used the reverse for like ceiling attack. He's like, nah, bruh. He was in. I see why you gave yourself up. I didn't become Okage, but I finally see the light. Simple cool, you guys. Sasuke's a threat. Uh. And then freaking Obito, he's going down in the ground. He's like, Sasuke, you got to get out of here. It's getting bad. I'm like, Obito, you couldn't just like grab onto him and transfer out. But, you know, further on, we, we learned that every time he shifts with somebody else, it takes more time. So he tells Sasuke to just run away. He runs away and he destroys every single shining gun that was on his body. And then we have Sasuke versus Naruto. Well, a little teaser, you know what I'm saying? A little a little pull on the on the balls, you feel me? And then Sakura was there and Kakashi, they all clashed. Okay, Sakura, oh my god. I, I'm gonna save that for the Sakura video, you guys. This is a Sasuke video. Sasuke clashed with Naruto. Sasuke is going blind at this point because he just spammed the eyes like crazy. Naruto said if they fight, they're both gonna die. Like if they both go all out. Okay, that happened. And then we get the fourth Shinobi War. We have Itachi and Nagato versus Killer B and Naruto. KCM Naruto. Now, to keep it 100 with you guys, 
this dude itachi nagato was the most fierce people on the battlefield like let's be honest nagato when he freaking he was literally low diffing naruto and killer b at the same time like naruto nagato was considered a god at this point like him and madara they're like top two in naruto probably so nagato he was smacking him around and itachi he was just he's a messiah like i said before he used to he literally put a crow in naruto from a while back and then he used um he activated shishui sharingan that was pl implanted inside of the crow to release himself from the kabuto's control from the reanimation jutsu that happened okay and the eye activates like every like five or like 10 years i don't remember how many years but it's a long ass time so itachi he just burned the crow away he's like yeah that's the other eye it's gone forever he's gonna the crow is supposed to activate when sasuke used the sharing gun against him and then the crow is supposed to come out and then mess with sasuke's head that was the plan before but now he believes in naruto full-heartedly he's like you know naruto the talk no jutsu it's just so amazing you got this man and then we have sasuke and itachi versus kabuto now itachi sasuke seen him and then he wanted more questions itachi smacked him away with they both like sasuke tried to grab him with the suzano arm itachi smacked it away with his he's like yo i don't have time for you like i'm here to save my village that i work so hard for we get to kabuto and sasuke now this fight was really good too kabuto that man who went full sage snake mode pretty badass i'm not even gonna lie Sa kabuto he's pretty saucy like nobody gives him credit where it's due kabuto he was pretty clean in that fight now itachi being the messiah that he is he has a move card was it izanami right yeah he has a move card izanami and he basically makes him see the same thing over and over again until he changes his fate changes his ways that is crazy like for like he can't like fake it either he got to be the real deal so he literally put him in a genjutsu where he has to keep on seeing himself getting sucked into the izanami all over and over and over and over again until he realizes that he was wrong itachi he was going away he stopped the reanimation jutsu and we had a beautiful scene of Itachi telling Sasuke he loves him no matter what he does. It was good, bro. The final words, he, he connect, like he didn't poke him this time. He actually grabbed his head and he put it together. He's like, yo, Sasuke, I love you, man. I did everything for you. It's all on you now, man. And then Sasuke, like fucking five minutes later, he he revives the, all the Kages. He's like, yes, I need your answers. I need the answers from all the Kages, especially you, the first Okage. If I go back to the Konoha right now and blow that bitch up, I'm like, I'm like Sasuke, you wild as fuck. And then freaking the second Hokage, um, Toby Rama, he's like, yo, you want the smoke? Like he he lift up one finger, like the whole room got wet. And then the first Hokage, Hashirama, he's flexed his power too. He's like, nah, but we ain't doing this right now. And he, they sat down. He told him the history about everything, and Sasuke's like, okay, cool. And then he returned to the he didn't leave village after all this time. I, I probably butchered that word. You know, I speak two language. But he returned back to the village. And then Sasuke was like, okay, I'm gonna protect the hidden leaf village. Quotations marks. I was like, okay, cool. He revives to the battlefield. Team seven, they did a return thing. Tachi, he's Sasuke, that's kind of me, Tachi. Sasuke touched down with all the Kages. And then Sasuke was like, yo, I'm about to be the Okage. Oh, and then Kiba was like, no, man, I'm going to be Hokage before you. I'm like, Kiba, if Kiba actually, you know what? What if Kiba actually becomes Hokage? Like, after, like, I want to see Kama, Konohamaru become Hokage. But, like, after Konohamaru, like, then Kiba, I think that would be really funny. But, yeah, Team 7 does a return. Everybody shows off their feats. And Obito, at this point, he sucked in the, the Jubi to become the perfect Jinjuriki. So then they fight. Everybody's slapping Ot Obito around. Give him the talk no jutsu. Madara is revived. Okay. Okay. Now we have Madara versus Sasuke. Sasuke, he got yo. Sasuke Nata got wrecked. Low diff. Madara gave that man the selfie stick attack. <laughs> Put him at he he caught him in the air with the limbo. Stabbed him in the heart. Naruto sucked out the, the nine tails. They're both on the brink of death. And um, I guess Kabuto was giving Sasuke energy. And then 
Naruto. I forgot how Naruto got his life back. I guess Minato gave him the other half. I, I'm, I don't remember. It. Like, it was kind of hazy. And then Sasuke, he fought, he grew a Rinnegan. And then Naruto became a perfect, like, a Jinjiriki. They both talked to Hagoromo. And they asked him, like, what do you want in life and all that stuff. Cool. They both get the blessings, you know what I'm saying? The, the moon and the sun. Combat, Guy versus Madara. Best fight in Naruto history. Guy, best character in Naruto history. Okay. They come back. Naruto touches Guy. He saves him. Kicks the, ball, the orb away that was untouchable. This shit got real. Sasuke, he chopped up Madara. It was it was a really good fight. And then they just... And then the worst thing to happen in Naruto. The worst thing. The worst thing. Black Zetsu pierces him from the back. We waited so long for all these fucking fillers. I'm an anime only guy. I don't read manga. I waited so long through all these garbage ass fillers just to see that. I was so mad at that point. I didn't even watch Naruto and Sasuke vs. Kaguya when it was airing. I literally sat there for like two, three months. I was like, nah, man. No. I stopped watching Naruto. So that happened. And now I forced myself to watch it. Very unnecessary. Kaguya came back. The strongest of all time. Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi. They clash with her. No. Um, what else can I say? This Sakura got hits in, you know what I'm saying? She's the garbagest. Like, I don't know how she was the strongest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that happened. They sealed her away. Now we have Naruto versus Sasuke. The final battle. Now this fight. Amazing. Anime. Amazing. The video game. Amazing. The manga. Amazing. Like, yo. It was just, it was really great. So that happened. And Sasuke, this is the first time we hear Sasuke talk more than usual and Sasuke he was just spilling his guts out to Naruto he's telling him yo like I will take everything in this is my destiny you are a crutch to me Naruto I am the strongest if you I gotta take you out right now because you're my problem and then he tells Naruto that he's the only person he felt some way about like he was hurting every time Naruto was hurt and vice versa and he was his really his best friend of all time and then they clashed. It was so beautiful. They, were, they literally fought all day, I think. So, yeah. They did the Naruto. Naruto and Sasuke did the Rasengan Chidori of all the, the, how they grew up. It was nice, okay? They did that. They both lost an arm. Okay, cool. Sakura came. She healed him. She told him Sasuke said he was sorry. And then Sakura's like, oh my god don't say that okay I'm, I'm trying to focus like and you know naruto's like yeah sakura hi you know naruto he's a fucking goofball i love him and then we have the blank period which is like 700 right sasuke gets sakura pregnant flicks her on the forehead he's off to god knows where he's on a journey to figure out what the world truly is whatever that means Gets her pregnant, leaves. The last movie came. There was a meteorite that's about to hit the village. Kakashi stood there, the Hokage. He couldn't do shit about it. Okay? Sasuke came in. Chidori looked saucy. Left. Okay. That was cool, I guess. And now we have the Boruto arc, the new era. Sasuke fights the uh, the Ot Otosuskis, man. I forgot both of their names. I remember Momoshiki when they combined, but like, I was like Kenshiki and Momoshiki, right? Yeah. He fought the bigger one. Very nice. You know what I'm saying? Sasuke, he got sauce and he got out of there because he already knew he was going to get bodied by himself. So he had to go back to Naruto. He's like, yo, bro, they got these alien gods. They coming, bro. Naruto and Sasuke versus Momoshiki, you guys. This fight. If I had to make a list of best fights in anime history, like in every like since the first anime till now, that would have been top five, no doubt in my mind. Like that fight, the choreograph, everything, the movie, the the episode, 
the manga, that was the best, best thing ever. Yo, I swear to God, I literally watched that like a thousand times. Sasuke, he was spinning the blade on his feet. I'm like, bruh, Sasuke, we know, we get it. You got the sauce, man. And then we have Sasuke versus Shin. The first time they fought, Sasuke was getting bodied. They nerfed that man so much. They nerfed Naruto and Sasuke so much. It was crazy. Naruto got pierced in the stomach. Sakura was putting in work. I'm like, yo, Sakura putting in work? Okay, whatever. And then Sasuke meets his daughter for the first time and almost cuts her head off. I'm like, bruh. Sasuke, you garbage. <laughs> Bro, like, she was so happy. She's like, Papa, I'm finally going to meet my dad. Like, her emotions was running so high. Her sharing gun activated. And then Sasuke's like, oh, yeah, this is Shin, bro? All right, bet. He fucking stabs the wall. He's like, yo, I'm about to fuck this bitch up. Like, you better tell me what's going on. She's like, Papa. And then Sasuke, he like, he was about to choke her ass out. And then she was calling out to him. He's like, oh, you're my seed? I'm like, Sasuke, you garbage. And, you know, he took a couple of kunai for her, so, you know, I give, I give him a little, yeah, I give him a minuscule pass, you know what I'm saying? And now Sasuke, he came home, he ate a meal with him, and then they dipped, you know what I'm saying? That happened. I think the Shin arc was before the Momoshiki arc, right? I think so. I'm not sure, but I probably got that out of order. And that's basically Sasuke, you guys. Then, I don't keep up with Boruto, but I, I heard he fought another Osusuke guy. That was supposed to be cool, I guess. And yeah, that happened. So, through and through, Sasuke, for most of the fights he did, it's either he got assisted, they killed themselves, or they just flat out tried to like help him out, like Orochimaru. So, I don't think Sasuke ever bodied one character, if you think about it. Like, he's cutting people down, but he's not actually finishing the job, that's the thing. Yeah, bro. Sasuke Uchiha. At the end of the day, I like the Boruto version of Sasuke. Like, he's finally, he finally seen the light. You know what I'm saying? That's what we all wanted to see. But part two of Sasuke was, I know he was like, what, 15, 16 at the time? I don't know how old he was. I think they turned like 17 or 18 during the fourth Great Ninja War. But I'm not sure how old they were. But Sasuke, the emotions... Like, he was crying. He was going crazy. He went emo, cried, did everything. And Sasuke, as a character, he, um, he, I'm not a fan, you know what I'm saying? He's cool, but if you're asking me who's better between Naruto and Sasuke, I gotta put Naruto above him, you feel me? Like, Naruto, he's cool. He's goofball, you know what I'm saying? He reminds me of myself, you feel me? And yeah, that's basically the video, you guys. Sasuke sucks. Now, Sasuke, now that I'm doing this video, I kind of don't think he sucks no more. Like, I, he had a reason, you know, but I was I was just showing you guys the perspective of how I saw it through and through from the story perspective. So that is it for me, you guys. Comment down below what you guys think about Sasuke Uchiha and his feats alone, you know what I'm saying? And this time, I'm actually going to comment back, unlike the Luffy sucks video where I just sat there and watched people tell me to go jump off a bridge. <laughs> It's J-Stars signing out.